Good morning, Maganang Umaga, and welcome to today's episode of My PA Dream. Now we have some rain here. We ha we've actually had rain for about, <laughs> I'm going to say two weeks now, every day, lots of rain. And that's kind of what we're going to talk a little bit about today. Uh, we've had several events that have gone on in the last few days, especially this morning, something that was a really big event, and we're going to talk about that this morning on today's episode. So without further delay, let's get today's video underway. Now you're probably wondering to yourself, hey James, where you been the last couple weeks? You haven't put out a video. And that's true, I haven't put out a video. And it's not because I didn't want to put out a video, it's because We've had a lot of rain. And why have we had a lot of rain? We've had a lot of rain because we had a major typhoon that went through. And even when a typhoon isn't close to you, it can do as much damage and as much problems uh, as one that goes right through the center of the area that you're living in. This one was way to the north of us. This typhoon, I believe the name of it was and still is, because uh, I think it's about to hit China today. And China's probably feeling it. I think the name is Fabian. It usually comes in two different names. I don't remember what the other name they, is. Usually like a Asian name and like a another name. So I'm going to one that's easier to pronounce, which is I believe it's Fabian. So anyway, uh, it, when it passed by here, what it does uh, when those typhoons go to the north of our island, which we are the most northern island of the three main islands of the Philippines here in Luzon. When it goes to the north, what it does is it pulls a lot of the moisture in the air from the southwest of us. It pulls, it sucks all that moisture. And when it does that, it creates monsoons here. Monsoons, for those of you who are not familiar, especially for those, we don't have monsoons in North America. We have hurricanes, which is the typhoons that we have here but we don't really have the event. We get rain, but not like the rain we get here. And we've gone through about two weeks every day, all day long, nonstop. Right now, this is probably about the lightest rain because I think that typhoon, Fabian, uh, is so far away from us right now, it's starting to calm down just a little bit, but we still have projected rain for a while. So we've been getting rain all day, all day, all night, all day and lots of rain sometimes very very heavy and sometimes just like what you see right now you can probably hear from the raindrops on the umbrella above me but it doesn't stop uh, which we're really lucky here that uh, the the drainage uh, is very good on our property here we have a very highly elevated property and it's really important for those who have basements because very few people do basements here and that's one of the reasons why we selected this a lot because of our basement yep. No problems with any water. Uh, we, we engineered a very good water evacuation system. If you watch our videos from building here, uh, we have lots here. I'm gonna show you something real quick for those of you who are not very familiar with the channel. Some of the things that we do to make sure that we don't have any problems with flooding here at Villa Feliz. Now, you can see we have a basement. Our basement starts at the bottom of these steps you see our driveway you see this is very deep now this is a challenge for really wet areas if you were in a very very low area someplace that is prone to flooding this could present a problem you probably wouldn't even contemplate doing what we did here and and building a a basement and garage but i want to show you what we did for our solution we have we have these drains and these drains go out to our storm sewer and this is this is actually the oh about the second or third layer of protection before you get here we have multiple layers of protection so we have that drain right there that goes out to our storm sewer system we have this drain right here which goes out to our storm sewer system and this is like our second our second layer of protection right here third second and then when you come up here, we have another layer, but this is our first layer of protection at the very top up here. So if we have water coming from here that's sitting up and it's rolling and it's trying to get down to the basement, this is our first layer of protection. 
And all of these are independent. Uh, the pipes here go to the storm sewer independent of each other. So if one gets clogged up, the other one can take care of the problem. But we've never had any issue. We have no problem with water setting up inside the yard uh, because we were very careful. And this is something I want to talk about. When you, when you design your yard, when you design your yard, make sure you work with the landscapers because uh, if you don't work with the landscapers, they might not do the correct elevation that you need to make sure that you have proper uh, flow of water into the ground. They might have low spots. You have to check them all the time. And that's what we did here, especially here in the backyard. When they first started doing the backyard back here, uh, they did a lot of things where they made it where the, the soil was so high here, as the water would have started f going on the ground here, during a very big major rain event, the water would have cascaded down here. Uh, so what I did, I made sure that the elevation here around this section here was higher and we had a natural flow with the slope, the natural flow of the slope of the yard that takes it away from any place that might add additional water down here. So I showed you the first, the first up there, the second and the third. And also, let me show you really quickly on the inside, uh, let me show you the fourth. You see, even on the inside, we have another layer. This is the fourth layer. If for some reason the wind blows just from this section right here and water were to go through here, and if, say, this got clogged up and got full and water went in through here, it goes inside this one, which is connected to a totally separate, a totally separate pipe that goes through the center of the basement that goes out the back that goes to the storm sewer. And I can't show you right now because the truck is parked inside, but in the center of the basement in the garage, we also have a sump that has another independent way of uh, moving water and not allowing water to set up for some reason if it did penetrate inside the basement. Let me also show you another place. Now remember we have a walkway, uh, an entrance from the back of our property that takes us down into the basement the back way, not through the garage door. And that's this area right here. And also down inside here, it's kind of a mess, excuse it. I got some stuff drying out down here. But you see we have also on this side, we have some drainage and we have the same over on this side here. Uh, although I got a bunch of crap here right now. So both sides, so the water never rises up inside here that can go up underneath the door there as well. Now I told you there were a couple of things that happened here. Well, actually there were a few things that actually happened over the last couple of days and specifically this morning. And that has to do with a major uh, event, a seismic event that happened uh, early this morning. And uh, I think I'm gonna go inside to Baha'i Kubo uh, so I can get out from underneath this umbrella and stay a little bit dry inside there. So let's go in there and continue uh, these crazy events that are going here inside the Philippines as of today. Okay, well, let's go to the next event. The next event happened early this morning here. Uh, and today is Saturday morning. I think it's July 24th. And uh, early this morning, we had a, a major seismic event that hit this part of the Philippines. Uh, down, uh, it, was, it was an earthquake. We had a 6.7 magnitude earthquake uh, that centered around Puerto Galera, which is just across uh, the water to the south of Batanga City from us. I'm going to say it's probably, I don't know, maybe about 100 kilometers from here. I'm just guessing. I would have to look and see what it is on the map. But it was such a major event that it was felt all the way up to Manila. And I will tell you, I didn't feel it. I was asleep at 448. But I did feel a lot of shaking and a, and a lot of commotion. <laughs> And what it was was Ness, she, she just, she's hitting me, she's hitting me, laying in bed, she's saying, James, there's an earthquake, there's an earthquake, there's an earthquake. And that's, that's the motion that I felt. But she said it was a very long event. She said she felt it from the very beginning when the house started shaking. And then uh, I don't know how much time after it started before she actually uh, woke me up. But I didn't feel it, but she said it was pretty stressful for her. Uh, and if, if I showed you probably some of the black and blue marks on my shoulder, nah, I'm just joking, joke line. <laughs> but we did have that major event here this morning and it was on all of the different 
news broadcasts out there. Uh, and you can check that if you just look at Philippines, earthquake 2021, you'll see lots of stuff reported on that event this morning. So we'll try to do a follow up to see uh, if there was damage on that in a upcoming episode. Then, uh, and it's not over yet. <laughs> not only did we, we are in the monsoon with all the rain here, with the earthquake. Remember we have the, the still the volcano, it was still mining the volcano. And the volcano is probably, uh, which is about 20, I think 21 kilometers from here. It's still putting out sul uh, sulfur dioxide emissions. And, but we haven't heard too much about that, but it's also getting events every single day. The last time I looked, which was about a week ago, in one day it had 85 seismic events on that one. And not only is that happening, we have all these things going on. Uh, as of this morning at 6 a.m., um, we knew about this, we have a 12-hour scheduled brownout, which is what we're in right now. We have no electricity here at the house. And of course, our generator is uh, in op right now because of this crazy thing that I did last year during a typhoon. Uh, so we are without uh, electricity for 12 hours, 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. But it's really not that bad. Uh, so I, I think that's most of everything to report of where we are today. I thought you'd find that interesting. We're going to go to some really neat stuff here in just a minute and get away from this, uh, let's say, the, what might be considered s sadness and tragedy kind of stuff but you know what uh, so people will say I, and I know I'm going to see this inside the comment section people are going to say why did you move to the Philippines James well you know with all of these things going on inside the background inside the background there's still so much beauty here in the Philippines and, and the culture and the 365 days of the year of, of beauty yeah, even if it's raining we have a dry season we have a rainy season but you have to accept that if you have to accept the bad with the good, no matter where you are. There's n I don't think there's any place in the world that is 100% perfect. Uh, but if you weigh everything all together with some of the, the forces of nature that you have here, there's too many things that make this a really wonderful place to call home. And that's what we do, and we know we made the right decision. Uh, let's get on to some really good stuff right now. You probably see these bananas. These bananas, these were picked. Uh, uh, picked on the banana plants behind the house here that we planted on our neighbor's lot uh, and we've been eating these every single day so we're getting lots of bananas and since I haven't been here for two weeks let's do a real quick walk around the yard I want to show you uh, some of the just in two weeks what has been growing on some of the plants around here in two weeks now I'm not gonna be able to upload this uh, I don't have one of those cellular data plans that really uh, I can upload gigabyte upon gigabyte of stuff up to uh, up to the uh, YouTube servers. So this will probably be done later on tonight after we get a restoral of our our uh, internet service and electricity. And then this will probably be available on Sunday. I'm going to say it be available for Sunday morning. Let's hope. Let's see. Anyway, I, I just want to show you the few of the things here in the backyard. Let's go ahead and take a walk. I just want to show you the bananas here. Remember I said two weeks ago that would be about a month, I think, before. And I think we're about two more weeks. I'm going to say about two more weeks. And these are the Cavendish bananas, and they're doing really well. I'm, I really like the Cavendish. Uh, but to be honest with you, my favorite is the Lan Tundan. And that's what those really tiny bananas that you saw over there, those are Lan Tundan variety. Uh, let's go ahead and walk over here by the Raised Bay Garden. Something that was surprising to me, remember we pulled about 15 of the dragon fruit from here two weeks ago. And I want you to see, uh, and the flowers are all off of them now, but all of these are more of our dragon fruit. This one's ready to be picked right here. Uh, this one's just starting. With all the rain, the rain caused the blossom to drop down and it made a mess. It was like, oh, it was like nasty, nastiness, uh, slime, but it fell off. And you, you know, kind of like this, what this looks like right here, but in, in a big, chunk down here on the ground uh, but you can see we have lots of now these are a lot smaller I don't know this is my first year of dragon fruit I don't know if the dragon fruit at the end of the harvest gets smaller I just don't know I don't uh, uh, we'll keep an eye on that I pulled several of my pineapple I had a bunch of pineapple plants down here about five of them and I think uh, I moved through I moved three of them to other parts of the yard the the uh, 
Jurassic Park lemons are really getting big right here. It's almost time to pull this one off and we can make lemonade as well as this one right here that you can see is turning yellow. And I just want to show you, I have two varieties of lemon plants back here and I've never gotten one on, never gotten a blossom on this plant right here, but we have, oh here, this is our first. You see this one right here? This is our first blossom on this one. So I don't know what variety of lemon is going to be produced on this one. I'm really anxious to see that. Uh, this was the top of the Michelle. This was the sucker of the, the Michelle uh, pineapple that we used to have here that we ate the pineapple from this spot right here. This is from Tagaitai. This is a very special pineapple. It's a little bit smaller, but a lot more with sweetness on this one. So I have that here. I want you to see, I thought we were done for the year with our, our, our apple guava tree here. Uh, but I want you to see, I don't know how many times this produces during the year. But look at all the blossoms here. And these are all new, all new apple guavas that are going to be showing up here. And they're, they're all over. This plant has them everywhere, all over. Let me see if I can find some other, some uh, of the other ones around here. Got some blossoms here. And they're, they're in different spots. I saw some other ones on the other side, but we're getting another. Uh, so I don't know how many times it produced. If you have apple guava, or I think what some people call guapo, let me know how many times a year the years produce uh, guapples, apple guava. Now this calamansi right here, this calamansi hasn't really done a lot this year. And, but you can see we're getting some. See, and they're really nice. So our, our calamansi here are so nice and, and, and round and bigger than what you normally see that you get from the grocery store. But I want to show you, even though this is producing some now, I want you to show, show you the other, the other calamansi that's on the other side that is the one that is just it produces so many calamansi. Look at this one over here. Look at all the calamansi on this one right here. Like I said, look, look at the size of these. This is a very nice, very nice calamansi fruit on this one. And they're everywhere. This one is full. It is jam-packed full of calamansi. And what we normally do is we normally take, now these are big, the smaller ones, we take 14, the ones that we would normally buy from the grocery store, 14, and 14 is our magic number for the perfect pitcher, which is I think about a liter and a half, a liter and a half of water. This one's full, so this one's doing good, and it's still getting blossoms, believe it or not. Let's go back here behind our property and take a, and these are the ones, the, the papaya and the banana plants that I planted for our neighbor John back here. But he hasn't started building yet, so we're just going to continue collecting. And look, this is new. This is bananas over here. And I'm going to say this is Lantundan because of the, the size and the shape of, of these bananas right here. So it's producing. I'm still collecting lots of papaya. Oh, I need to pull the... Oh, this one's bad. I left it too long. It's too orange and I can see the insects already getting to it. I need to get rid of that one. But the papaya have been doing really good back here. I can see this papaya right here is starting. This is brand new. You can see all the blossoms and we have a papaya growing right here. Uh, let's see what else we have back here. Now I also put banana plants and papaya over on our neighbor Corey's lot, which is next to us over here. And you can see this is all, I gotta cut this. I've been cutting this. I put this grass down. This is blue grass uh, that's in really in need of cutting with the lawnmower. I put this so they, they have a start when they start working on their lot, when they start building the house here, that uh, they can take plugs from this and they won't have to pay for anything for grass. They will be able to have all grass on the yard for free. Uh, that's a big, a big bonus. Now you see the, all the banana plants are looking really good here, but they're small. They grow a little bit smaller on this side, as I said before, papaya right here. And they grow smaller on this side because of the shade that I think that they get in the afternoon. Banana plants really like afternoon sun. They really the full afternoon sun to grow quicker. But you can see these are a little bit more on the smaller size. So, but they're coming along. It's okay. We don't want all of our banana plants to mature at the same time because you have each banana plant, it makes like, oh my goodness, like around hmm, 100, 100 bananas. So, and they all get ripe at the same time. 
Well, there you have it, folks. That is our update, our two-week update. Sorry for being so long and getting back on this, but again, there's been a lot of stuff that's been going on around here. But I think it's important to provide a lot of these updates, especially for those of you who have family that are in the local area, or especially if you're an OFW, you're overseas somewhere, and you want to see what's going on around here in this neck of the woods. I will continue to provide updates as I see any type of significant significant update uh, that might be affecting this specific area here as well and i'll try to be a little bit more proactive on getting some of those videos out because i know i get a lot of responses from people saying are you okay where have your videos been i haven't seen you in a while and i thank you for that support for those of you who are interested enough to watch the channel and support us here at my pi dream so that's it again for today i hope you enjoyed today's video and if you did please give me a thumbs up please share and if you have not subscribed just click on that little my pi dream heart in the bottom right hand side of your screen and if you click that notification bell you'll be notified next time i upload a new video so until such time from right here in the not so sunny philippines you have a wonderful and blessed day today's episode and you would like to see more just like these just click on one of the helpful links over to your right and you might be able to pick up on some good information on DIY projects how to or if you are interested in moving to the Philippines and building you'll find answers there as well